in the US, we have about 7.2 million people that are either in prison or monitored by the prison system. 82% of the children whose parents are in prison will end up in prison. That means over 10 million children will end up in prison. There is nothing that we can do to stop it at this moment in time. These children are repeating whatever the father or mother has done. Cyril Prabhu grew up in India without a father. He came to San Francisco in 1993 to begin a new life, but had an experience that would change his destiny. I was going to buy a computer from a store, and I was taken down at gunpoint, taken into a dark room, and there, I just saw myself lying on the floor, helpless. These men were running around us with a gun pointing to our heads, and they took all my money. I became very angry and bitter, and when I got out of that situation, I wanted to go home. But God just helped me take that bitterness out. God was working in my heart to forgive the guys who put me through this whole turmoil. That whole experience has changed my life. Soon after the robbery, Cyril volunteered for prison ministry. His career took him to Charlotte, North Carolina in 2005, where his passion for helping inmates and their families grew. 85% of the inmates in prison right now grew up in a fatherless environment. These children that are growing up without fathers at home need help. And I will turn the hearts of the fathers. The Proverbs 22-6 ministry yeah. was formed to help the children of inmates beat the odds. The mission of Proverbs 2 to 6 is to help the children with the education. Proverbs 22 to 6 is a verse from a book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. The foundation for this ministry is from that core verse. We want to go into the life of these children and train them so that they will have this foundation fixed so strong in their life, they will not depart from it. I just wanted to thank you all for coming here. In a short moment, we will all be heading over to prison. We started with one prison. We went and told the fathers that we want to stop their children from coming into prison and that we would come into their life, help them with the mentoring, help them with the education, and take them all the way through to college and pay for their college. We can and we will send you to college. All we need you to do with our help is to do the work. What we very strongly believe in this ministry is that the children need to be mentored by people who know Jesus is the Savior of their life. There is a way through. For me, that way is God. We ask the church to come alongside to mentor these kids. We have numerous churches They've come together and they're joining as a community to help these kids. He wants to be a middle linebacker. He likes to tackle people. The ultimate goal of Proverbs 2 to 6 is this. In the next 10 years, we would stop 1 million children from going into prison. It has a ripple effect. Their children's children will not be part of the statistics. Brianna McMore. For Proverbs 22.6, the first step in breaking the cycle for the next generation is to engage the fathers with their children. We have an opportunity for the father to feel the love of these children. When they get out of prison, they have something to look forward to. When I see these kids connecting with their father, there is something magical that goes on. These fathers are giving their life to Christ. These fathers are changing from inside. Bring healing and hope in Jesus' name. The purpose behind this effort, even though it's focused very much on the children and getting them into college, it's beyond the education. It's bringing Christ into the life of these families. It makes me feel very humble to see God unfold the plan one piece at a time.